president's Savakiri's decision to form a new National Assembly has been welcomed by many people in South Sudan. The move came almost one year since the formation of the new government started in 2018 after five parties signed a peace agreement to end the ongoing crisis in the country. And the newly formed parliament comprises 550 members from the different peace parties. Details of that in this report. Yeah. After more than a year since the formation of a unity government began, South Sudan now has a new parliament comprising 550 members. The formation of the National Assembly is being welcomed by many in the capital, Juba. Uh, it gives us hope and I hope there's a change that will come. And because once uh, the parliament uh, you know, begins to work, uh, we can really realize changes. So I really give hopes for this and I give thanks for the move. We are very happy indeed as South Sudanese, but the bigger issue is the implementation of the peace agreement that is waiting. All South Sudanese are yearning for that. Then the time frame of the election also. The parliament is expanded from 400 to 550 members comprising representatives from five peace parties that signed the 2018 peace agreement. However, the formation of the unity government is still far from over. The state legislative assembly still have to be put in place. Commissions that are expected to help in the implementation of the agreement are also yet to be set up. The National Assembly is considered crucial to the peace deal's success. As a lawyer or as a South Sudanese, I, I hope in the nearest uh, future or in the, in the, as quick as possible, Parliament needs to be uh, sworn in and then uh, from there it can embark on its work. The ministries created by the peace deal rely on the new parliament for the passing of their policies as legislation. What is next is to inject into the political parties, leaders, the political will to actually give the parliament the rightful uh, duties and roles to play in the enacting laws and establishment of the institutions, especially the hybrid court of South Sudan. The 2018 peace agreement also dictates that the parties to the peace deal form an upper house of parliament known as Council of States comprising 100 members that is yet to be put together.